There you are. Well, it's time to get ready for work, boys and girls. Oh, do you know, I can't see. I'm too far away from there to see. Hang on, will my glasses work? Let me get my glasses. Let me get my glasses, one minute. Now, can I see? I became nice board. Do you like? Do you like it? Look, my nice ironing board. Good evening to you, boys and girls. I'm just preparing to get to go to work. Um, uh, hello, Jimmy, Jerry, Mark. Do you like my? This is a new ironing board cover. This is only ten pounds from Amazon. One click ordering. We like the one click ordering. Um, can I just say, uh, I don't know if Wendy's with us at the moment, I'm not sure if Wendy's here. It's not, what, turbo iron, well, it's one of these. This is the iron. This is the iron. Now, I've positioned the ironing board here so that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Am I a telemarketer? No, I'm not. Who's writing in foreign? I don't know what that says, do I? Do I look like I'm foreign? No, I'm from the United Kingdom. Land of hope and glory. Yes. Uh, Wendy said earlier that I had a stain on my hooded top. Right? And she said it was the same stain as the last one. Oh no. Well, as you can see, here is the same hooded top I had on earlier. Do you want me to do opera? La da da da. Anyway, uh, this is the same one I had on earlier. No stain. And I told her that I'd been brushing my teeth and a little bit of water had splashed onto my top. I like that word. Splashed onto my top. And that's what it was. She accused me of having a stain on my top and coming on air or on, on wire, whatever you call it, on wire and presenting my world famous show with, with with a stained top on there. This is a top, this is a top. Am I a top? No, well, no, not really. But um, yes, so anyway, we must iron the shirt because I'm preparing for karaoke tonight. Hi Terry H, karaoke tonight is at the city of Quebec in Old Quebec Suite Street in London. I've selected this shirt this evening. Well, you didn't think I'd turn up for work like this, do you? Huh? Surely you didn't think I'd turn up for work in the same clothes that I do this programme on. No, not Quebec City. The pub is called the City of Quebec in Old Quebec Street, and that's in London. OK, so there we are. I hope you like that. This is a steam iron. Uh, I can't hear any steam, though. Hang on. Me and irons don't really get on. I don't feel that I should even be attempting to do this ironing. Oh, Canada, I don't know that word song, Oh, Canada. Hang on a minute. I can't hear any steam coming out. Why is there no steam coming? Oh, there's water in it, one minute. Can't, can't work it. Um. <laughs> oh, there we go, can you hear it? Listen, listen, listen. There it goes, my steam iron. Look, look, look. It's like the fog, isn't it? Fog. Now, some people on this channel have suggested before that I iron my face. I'm not quite sure why that is. I think nephew Jimmy Butler would kind of agree on that one, that Uncle Chris needs to iron his face. Yes. Parlez-vous français? Oui, mon ami. Bonsoir. Comment ça va? Je m'appelle Christophe. Je, uh, je, allo, je, allo, je suis... Je... Alors, a Londres, a scepter. You want this hoodie? Yeah. Yeah, we want this hoodie too. You're scared when I've got... I look, I don't, it's not, it looks more like, like a nun's thing, doesn't it? I could be a nun. Yeah, you know, I could be a nun. Anyway, so ironing the shirt. And I really, really hate ironing. Newfoundland, you, uh, in Canada, beautiful. I've got a couple of people in Canada who watch. Uh, one's called Matt. You want me to be a nut? You think I should be a wish? Oh, I think I could be in a... Oh, the cat's speaking. What do you want, darling? I put food down. The cat likes to have a little moan now and again. Now, with these folded things over like this, Mad Max, that could be me. You kind of fold them, don't you? And 
I really, really hate doing this. My mate, <coughs> did I go on Britain's Got Talent? No, I did not. I don't like anything like that. Britain's Got Talent or The X Factor. I don't feel that people should be put on the telly and ridiculed in front of people. I hate the format. I absolutely hate that format. Was I not in... Was I not in that one last night? No. Do you know that's funny you should say that? Someone else said that. Someone said that last night. Do I like Arkwright? Do you mean Arkwright from Open All Hours? Is that Arkwright you mean? Someone came in the pub last night, where I was doing karaoke in Dulwich, and asked me if I'd been on Britain's Got Talent as well last night. So I think there must be a look-alike it. There's only one me. Granville, get a cloth. Shut up. All right, Katie. Oh, just a minute. What? You're not going out the back door now. That's all locked up. You'll have to go out the front door, darling. She sits at the door and meows because she can't be bothered to walk around. Why are cats like that? They're lazy creatures. Anyway, we're getting on with this show. I'm sure if there are any ladies watching at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Look, don't worry. It's not falling down. Look, the cat. Is lazy, she won't walk around the outside. So my mate has a lady comes in and does all his ironing. <laughs> Someone says, I look like a nun who came on Britain's Got Talent and played the piano. No, it wasn't me. Honestly, it wasn't. I wouldn't go on that programme, thank you. It's not, for, it's not for talented people to go on that programme. Not that I am talented. I'm not a talented person. He does though. Ronnie goes on, Ronnie's my best mate. He makes very rare appearances on the show. Right? He's very, very rarely on. And um, so he pays someone to do all his ironing. What do I need a cloth for? What do you mean get a cloth? What for? What do you mean a cloth? If any ladies are watching this, they would have done three or four shirts by now. See, these creases are still here. Why is that? I hate it. I hate doing ironing. You've got to try and make look... Um, Look decent at work, haven't you? So, is anyone coming to my karaoke tonight? I'm at the city of Quebec. <coughs> I haven't got ironing walls, so I just fill it up in the tap. We don't worry about that. <laughs> Jimmy, did you get cut off again, mate? If only you had a decent internet connection in that place of yours. Now, that's not too bad. Actually, I think I'm quite pleased about that. Collars are a different thing altogether. Terry, would you do my iron if I sent it up to you? See, now how do you do the collar? I've never ever been able to iron properly. Seriously, never been able to do it. Come on, Terry. Please come and do my ironing for me. There we are. A little bit there. Don't worry, you will be seeing the finished product as attached to my body. Who's, now watch this messy. The swallows are leaving it, Granville, and they're at leaving it on the windows. I don't know what, what you're talking about, Mr. Newfoundland. What on earth are you going on about, dear? Hello, Adam. Adam came to karaoke last night. There we are, it's done. Right, I shall now change into the said shirt. So I'll send you the jacket you bought me to, to iron, London. Oh, Jimmy! Just a minute, Jimmy, I've got there's something here for you. Jimmy, just a minute. Stay there, Jimmy, stay there. Is that yours? Is this yours? Nephew Jimmy, is that yours? Oh, turn the iron off. Yes, you're right. Ah, oh, right, okay. All right, I'll look after that. I'll bring that up next time I come up and see you, okay? Jim is my nephew, by the way. He's, he's about three hours' drive away. Light starch. No, right, so I'm now going to try on... Let me just hang on this. I'll put that back in a minute. I'm now going to try on my, uh, my newly ironed shirt. Uh, no, I don't think so. You're not going to see my fat body. No, no. Who's that there? <laughs> oh, it's a bit tight. I thought I'd lost a bit of weight. 
Oh, no, that'd do. There you go. How's this? <laughs> Trying to jack it on? Really? <laughs> this is Jimmy Butler's jacket. <laughs> uh, it doesn't quite fit, does it? <laughs> well, I've got to go. I've got to go to work. Thank you, everyone. And uh, if any um wants want to do my art in the future, please uh, email me, Chris at United Kingdom Talk, with your name and address, and I might give you the job. Have a lovely uh, evening. Ta-ta.